Ashrechem Yisrael, praiseworthy are the Jewish people. We are, in fact, a stiff-necked group of people, and we don't always get along. But there's one thing that we all share, and that is the centrality of Eretz Yisrael. If you were to travel to shuls at any point throughout our history, whether you were going to go to London or Morocco or Australia or Chicago, one thing that we all share in common is that every one of our prayer experiences is facing towards Eretz Yisrael. And the halacha tells us that even if you're in Eretz Yisrael, and you're going to daven, you're going to face towards Yerushalayim. And within Yerushalayim, you're going to face the Har Habayis. And on the Har Habayis, you're going to face the Makom Kodesh Kadashim. And the question is why? If the Almighty can hear us from wherever we are, no matter which direction we're facing, does it really matter? Why do we have to pray towards Eretz Yisrael and towards the Kodesh Kadashim? If you think about the greatest moment of the Achdos of B'nai Yisrael, it was when we stood at Har Sinai. We were there as one person, ki'ish echad belev echad. However, it's interesting to contrast that just prior to that experience of the ultimate unity of Klal Yisrael, the Mitzrim experienced something very similar. Because the Pasuk tells us as they were pursuing after the Jewish people, v'hinei Mitzrayim nosea achareihem, they're described too in the singular. And Rashi tells us that they were belev echad, ki'ish echad. They were with one heart, like one people. While it sounds the same, it's actually flipped around. Where B'nai Yisrael at Har Sinai were ki'ish echad, belev echad. The Mitzrim were belev echad, ki'ish echad. And what's the difference? The Mitzrim were united against a common enemy. They were agenda-driven, and therefore belev echad, in one cause, they were united, which ultimately made them as one people. However, for Klal Yisrael, what was our achdos? What was our true unity at Har Sinai as we were makabal the Torah? It was the fact that we were first and foremost ki'ishachad. We were one people. We were a family that all was a unit. And then, belev achad, as we were makabel the Torah, we were able to become one in spirit and in cause. Sadly, however, ever since we left that moment of great achdos, we've been longing to recapture it. And unsuccessfully, We've had our ups and downs throughout history, and yet we're trying to recapture that moment of what it feels like to truly be one people. And so what do we do to capture that moment? Whenever we daven, whenever we open our sitter, whenever we close our eyes, whenever we turn to Hashem in prayer, what we do is we face towards Eretz Yisrael. Because if you think about Eretz Yisrael, facing in Yerushalayim, facing towards the Harabayas, facing towards the Kodesh Kadashim, is all towards one particular thing. Because inside the Kodesh Kadashim is a little box. And inside that box, that Aron, are the Luchos, the tablets which represent the experience that we had on Mount Sinai. And what we long to do is to recreate that experience. Every time we pray, we recognize the importance of standing as one people, of trying to recapture the time that we were, in fact, Ishachad Belevachad. And if the Beis Mikdash were destroyed because of the fact that we didn't have that unity, because Klal Yisrael had sinas chinam, then the answer is not only in our prayers to unite, but in our actions and in our deeds. May we be blessed, in fact, to come together as one people, to put our agendas aside, but first and foremost, to be ki'ishachad. And in that merit, please God, we should be zocha to see the rebuilding of the Beis HaMikdash, Mehera, the Amenu, Amen. Amen.